Hello everyone, welcome back to another CapCut tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to make rolling credits or crawling credits in any CapCut video. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I left click, if I just click on play here, there we go. There we go. We've got, you know, directed by Curtis Pike, starring Curtis Pike, directed, no, directed by Joe Mama. Who was it? Who was the, yeah, okay, produced by Balzich. <laughs> He's a great producer. Okay, I'm going to show you how to recreate this in about two minutes or so. So let's just left click on the X there and let's start from scratch. Okay, the first step is you actually want to go to your notes app. I am using the notes app in the iPhone, but if you don't have an iPhone and you have an Android, use whatever app you use for taking notes in. Type out your end credits as you want them, including spacing. And then once you've got it, just select it all. And when you've got it all selected, like I have here, left just click on it and and type or just click copy type copy click copy okay there we go now let's head back into CapCut. let's create a new project step one we want to go to our stock videos you don't want recents you want stock videos select the black one that is the traditional style for end credits now click on add just like i've done there okay now we've got this video and yeah it's it's all good we're gonna go from here so the next step click on I hit misclick there, click on text. And then when you click on text, click on add text. So A plus, just like I got on all my tests in high school. Left click on, or just click on add text. And then it says enter text. What you want to do is you want to tap once on that, on the on the little bar there, and then, and then just click paste. And here's what it does. You just want, now you can click the check mark and you'll notice that it's added in the text, but it hasn't done it correctly for what we're looking for because it's added it in the center. So I'm just going to click on it once, and then I'm going to move it down so that end credits is at the top. So basically, we've now adjusted it so that end credits shows up at the top because we're going to be doing a scrolling animation or a looping animation. So if we were to click on play now, it's there, but it's not moving, and that's okay. We've got some changes to make. The next step is you want to click on style here, and when you do that, you get a bunch of different options. I'm going to go ahead and click on font, and you, know, and you do know probably that you can change the font if you want to. I'm not going to bother with that, but you can do it. You can also go ahead and you know make it pink or blue or yellow or whatever. But we're going to leave it traditional white. So again, this is just standard stuff. The one you really want to focus on is animation. When you click on animation, you've got three options, in, out, and loop. We want loop. And when I click on loop, it gives us a few options down here at the bottom. I'm going to scroll to the right, and I'm going to scroll a little ways because... We're looking for a particular one, and let's see when I find it. There we go. We're looking for scroll up. This is, again, traditional uh, crawling animations, film credits. So when I do that, you'll notice it did it, but it does it incredibly fast. So I'm going to go ahead down here to this bottom slider and pull that all the way to the right. When I do that, it gives us a three-second crawl. This is, in all likelihood, still too long for what you're looking to do because it's too fast, pardon me. So, again, nothing to panic. Let's just go ahead and, let's see, let's just go ahead and see what we got. All right, whatever, doesn't matter. There we go. Produced by Balzich, and then as soon as we hit the end, yeah, we don't want that cap cut crap in there, so I'm just going to move this to about here, right to where Balzich ends. You'll see here I moved the timeline and I moved the little piece here, and then I'm just going to take this right edge, and I'm going to cut it right there so that's what we want so i know it's too fast not to worry the next step here is if that's the right speed for you then you can just click off this tutorial if it's not again we're just going to process this so we're going to export it here with this top right little arrow button and then it's going to export now we're going to go ahead and click done and then we're going to click new project and we're going to pull that one that we just did back in so i'm going to click on it right there and there it is, Joe Mama, Balls Itch, blah, blah, blah. We're going to stop it. We're going to move it to, um, we're going to go ahead and click add, pardon me. We're clicking on the add, and then watch. I'm going to go ahead and move it over. And when that's done and the cap cut thingy shows up, we're going to go ahead and trim it. So I'm just going to click on the timeline and trim it. So I, I don't want that. So let's just, come on, Curtis, do this right. We're going to trim it to right about there is that right yeah let's go with that click on the timeline click on the right edge pull it in and trim it done the next step though and this is the last important part if we're slowing it down is you want to click on speed 
and then we're going to go ahead and click on normal but when we click on normal you'll see at the bottom here that we can adjust it it's right now it's at 1x so that means it's at one time speed so at regular speed pull this to half speed so we want the rolling credits to last twice as long let's try that click on the check mark and now let's move to the beginning hit play and we have a six second rolling credit i know it took a little while to get there guys but that's how you do it thanks for watching be back soon